Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about how to do a mix in OpenTX for the throttle to the elevator. Now, why would you want something like that? Well, recently I did a review of this Atom RC seal plane and one of the things that I noticed was the attitude, the pitch of the plane changed with the amount of throttle. So I was having to input a little bit of elevator just to take account of that and keep the nose level. Now, this is usually an indicator that the thrust angle is wrong. And usually the way you do it is you try and have the thrust angle uh, looking from the side of the plane anyway, kind of going through the central gravity-ish. And that, in theory, means that as you increase the push that's coming from the throttle, particularly on something like this model where the prop is on the back, then it's not going to push the nose up or down. And actually, if that's happening to your plane, I personally would just put a washer or two under one side of the motor just to kind of counteract it. Because if, for example, you push um, the throttle up, you increase the throttle and the nose rises, that probably means that the motor needs to be a little bit flatter rather than the other way around. But there is a way in OpenTX, of course there is, that you can mix the throttle into the elevator. So as you manually increase the throttle, that fix in the elevator is taken care of automatically. So let me cover a couple of things in here. We'll start simply and then we'll, we'll get more advanced as we go through. Now again, if you're new to OpenTX and you're not sure how all this stuff works, uh, this isn't the video to start with. I would actually go to the OpenTX Mix School. There is loads of stuff in there that talks about how to set up OpenTX. Starts incredibly simply. The first video was actually talking about how OpenTX is compared with systems from people like Spectrum. So you start from there and then you can get into some, some really complicated stuff. But this time, let's just focus on throttle to elevator mixes. So here's a little model that I've set up. Again, this is OpenTX Companion. Uh, this is the application that you can use to create models, then copy them to the radio. And also, if you are, you know, top tip, if you're using an OpenTX radio and you've never backed it up onto a file on your computer in case something happens to that radio, I would uh, pause the video right now and go and make that happen because uh, I have had my bacon saved a few times by having a backup. So here is all of the tabs, the same tabs that you would find on the radio. And the way it would normally work is in mixes, I would normally just add, just delete that part of it first. Here we have the throttle aileron elevator rudder. These are the outputs that you'd normally attach to the various servos and ESC in your plane. We can very easily add another line. So what I'll do is I'll right click and I will copy the throttle, I will paste it onto the same channel as the elevator. So now we get a little bit of throttle. We don't want 100%, we might just want 5%. A little bit of adjustment. And if it's gonna be in the wrong direction, we can fix that too. So let's just simulate that and I'll show you what's happening. So the thing we're interested in, if I move the throttle stick, uh, you will see that the throttle stick is moving. There's channel one going up and down. But the other thing you'll spot as well is that channel three, which is the elevator, is also moving as well. So you can see it goes from 5% uh, at maximum throttle, but th there is a negative side of doing this, and no pun intended. If we go down like that, we see that the middle position of the elevator has also gone down my minus 5%. Now, now that might be the way you want it to work. Uh, because it might be that in a low throttle position you need to fix in one direction or another. The other thing we can do is we can change the polarity of the effect. If we go minus 5%, we'll do the same thing. Then we have the same thing happening, but this time it's the other way around. This time the elevator is going in the opposite direction, and that might be what you have to do depending on how the mechanical linkage is set up and how your servo is installed on the plane. But, okay, that might work, you know, that might be what you need. You might want minus five to positive five. That might be the way to do it. However, um, there might be a slightly better way to do it. So let's to get rid of that. What I've done is I've created another input. So here's the standard inputs we'd use in a plane. And this is one of the cool things. We have all these extra input lines that if you're new to OpenTX, you're just looking at going, why would I need all that stuff? Well, this is a great example of why you would, because you can do cool stuff that doesn't directly control the plane. 
But in here, we can create another control that we can use in the mix. So here I've called it, um, this is the way I tend to do it here, T2E, throttle to elevator. It's just kind of my shorthand. The source um, can either be the throttle. That is the raw uh, stick input. Um, although there's also uh, other things we can do later on, but that's basically the same as the first input that we're using for throttle anyway. But this time we are only giving it 50% weight, but 50% offset. And what that's going to do is going to give us just the positive stuff. So whereas before we saw we could go plus and minus, this is only going to do it like this. Let me just show you what that's um, what we can do with this. If we add input 10, so we're going to right click and say add the source. Where are we? There we go. Input 10, T2E. And uh, we'll just give it away again of five. Just keep it, say that's how much we think we need. So now if we simulate it, watch what happens. So on the low position, because we have used only 50% of the travel, but we've offset it by 50, it means that it's not seeing the negative side. So channel three, low throttle position, the Elevator is neutral. As I increase the throttle, there we go. We actually go up to 5%. Let me move that down again. So in the low throttle position, it's neutral. Maybe we need uh, an effect that's going to take account of uh, the, the push from the thrust from the motor and prop. And that's the way it works. So that's the other way you could do it as well. If you don't want the minus side, you have to try and figure all that out. The other cool thing we could do, let me just increase the weight. Say we say we need like 10 degrees of travel, but it isn't a linear relationship and we want to tweak it. The other thing we can do is we can actually add a curve. Now curves are incredibly powerful in OpenTX. And it's one of those things that 80% of pilots that I've ever spoke to, um, there we go, 92% of all statistics are made up on the spot, but the majority of pilots uh, don't ever touch curves but what we could do here let's just do curve one let's just turn it into a standard straight line curve more or less okay so it goes from minus 100 plus 100 and it's a straight line so what we can do is we can actually add that curve to the mix for this piece curve one okay and the effect, you're not going to see anything change. The, the way it works, remember, as we move the throttle, throttle three will increase a little bit. Um, it kind of works in the same way. The only difference is it goes to 10 now because that's the number that we've put in here. But actually, what we could do is in the curve, we can actually modify this curve to change the effect. So maybe it's more um, like an exponential so it's it's too much at midpoint so we need to turn that down but we need the full effect at the end so we get this curve like this okay maybe that's what we need well let's simulate that so now at the middle throttle position rather than it being five it's only three however it still goes up to ten at the top so that means that we have a non-linear relationship and that might be closer to what we actually need for it. So there we go, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can very simply add a little bit of throttle into the elevator, and then you can take account of the fact you have a plus and minus number. Or if you don't want that, you can use this trick to just get rid of the minus number. You can also just have one stick side, but to be honest, that would only take effect above 50%. I find this is the easiest way to do it. Or if you really wanna fine tune it, uh, you can use something like a curve and that will allow you to kind of figure out 50% throttle and 100% throttle where those points need to be and just move the other points to create a nice smooth curve that's going to work for you. So again, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, check out the OpenTX Mix School. And if you're interested in fixed wing stuff, I also have a playlist on that. I'll put the links down below.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.